Using the YouTube trending feed for market research. YouTube is a great platform for market development and for encouraging businesses to try out new marketing strategies that will allow them to find new audiences and to keep growing on a modern sales channel. And for past videos or any indication, YouTube can also be a great platform for market research. As any topic that can be found on the internet is surely going to be covered by someone on a YouTube video right when such a topic starts going viral. And thinking about making it a platform that can make it easier for people to research stuff that can keep YouTube growing as a video sharing website, in 2015, Google introduced the Trending tab, which features videos that are going viral at any given time. The Trending tab can be found on YouTube's front page, right below the search bar. As you can see, this Trending tab will show you the videos that, as the tab's name implies, are trending at the moment that you are checking it. In this video, we are going to show you how to use a trending feed to do your own market research, so you can find stuff to discuss on your YouTube videos as well as on your other marketing channels. Let's start by giving you a technical explanation of how this trending feed works. As you can see here, the videos featured in here are not shown to you based on your viewing habits, as that would only show you videos that are related to your own criteria. This would be of benefit for showing you trending videos on your own niche, but keep in mind, that such results will be somewhat limited, and that you can do your own research by using niche keywords on YouTube and on Google to get better results. Instead, YouTube uses an algorithm that tracks user interactions on videos to position those that are a hot topic and on top of the list. The interactions that this algorithm tracks include comments, number of views, relevance of the topic in the video in relation to current events, and external references such as search engine queries. So, to use a trending feed for market research, you can start with the basics by going to the top results, which will show the hot video topics of the day. This is a great strategy, because this way you can use these topics to get inspiration and ideas to cover on your own videos, or on a news feed for your marketing blog. Top trending videos can show you which keywords you can use to get traffic on any given day. Checking out how recent top trending videos are doing will be a good sign of how much traffic you can get through those keywords at any given moment. In general, you should leverage the first two to three keywords on a video title, but sometimes these two to three keywords will be positioned at the end of the video. The best way to identify these keywords is by knowing which niche keywords have been placed in the title, as not every video title will have useful keywords. That is because some videos go viral only because of their content. So. Another approach is to get keywords from the description of the video or from the comments in the video. Because remember, the YouTube algorithm takes a lot of information from comments as well. Now, it is important that you consider that the trending feed shows different results for different locations, so users from each country can see what is trending in their respective territories. And you can leverage this fact to better target certain demographics in your audience. To see what is trending on a different country, Simply go to the footer of the YouTube page while in the Trending tab, and use the Content Location menu to change the country from where you are watching YouTube. This will show you the videos that are trending on the country of your choice, so you can serve trending content to members of your audience in those regions to encourage improved engagement from them. Use these tactics to make your research for content easier, and you will see awesome results in no time.